Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video because I have another five bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created this design right here. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about different styles, I guess, of designs, how you can make this and other similar styles and just kind of, you know, go over different different aspects of the style of design. So I mean, right here, what we've got is, this is a Christmas design, but you can do this for anything. It is kind of that quilted patchwork style. So these would be sort of those quilted patchwork Christmas trees. And this is very popular right now. I've seen a lot of the patchwork stuff on Etsy, but again, it's popular all over. Um, and so this is just one example that I was going to show you, and I'm going to show you several more. And so to do this, I'm going to jump over to Canva. And what we're just going to do is use Canva's AI feature, and we're going to come up with a lot of designs very, very quickly. So I'm going to just jump right over to the Canva page where I've got this. And right now, let me go ahead and scroll up to the top of this. This is the design right here. I'm on my Canva page, and this is the prompt that I put in to you to create these trees. So I put in 3D Christmas tree with multiple holiday patchwork patterns on solid background. So I did have to be pretty specific. And of course, just because you use this prompt doesn't mean that you'll always get the same results because with AI, it's a little unpredictable and everybody's going to get something different. But that's also what makes it cool is that nobody will ever have the exact same thing as you, though sometimes you do want to be pretty specific. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. We're going to jump over to the left hand side and go up to the tab that says elements. And so you can click there and then you'll just scroll down to where it says AI image generator and we can click create your own. And that's all we did. And so here we can put in any prompt that we want. So if I want to go ahead and just go ahead and copy this, oops, I'm just going to copy this. And we'll just paste it right in here and we'll use this one and we'll hit generate image and see what happens so perfect so it's given us a lot of different versions to choose from so this one right down here in the bottom this is probably the closest and so you can see it's pretty close to the same general style you've got a nice 3d tree it looks very quilted you've got the holiday patterns that looks really nice so i really like that one some of these are a little bit different this one looks a little flatter this one has more of the pastel colors to it this one's different. So this also gives you a little bit of a 3D look, but it's a totally different style. So I like this one. And if I wanted to generate more, I would just go over to these three little dots here and I'd put generate more like this and see what comes up. And you can see it gave us a bunch more. And so like this one looks really cool. I like that one. I wish it had a star on the top because all the other ones do, but that one's really cool. This one's really cool. Um, and then of course this one is a totally different style entirely and it's got some presents underneath but you can see how you can just get a lot of these and by putting in the prompt on a solid background it makes it easy to do the background remover so that's really what makes the difference is having that solid background so i can just go background remover and then poof i've got my image really quickly and so you can see right there is one and i can do this with all of them real quick background remover and so by using this style, I can get a lot of designs very quickly and easily. And so boom, boom, boom. And there's three more trees right there. Let me just get that a little bit out of the way so you can see. And I generated three more trees really pretty quickly. And so those look cool. And I could always put that up again on a sweatshirt, on pillows, on mugs on just about anything that you can think of now we can always change this too so i went ahead and added to this so just going with the christmas theme because christmas is around the corner i can go ahead and do this with other christmas elements and so using more or less the same prompt i put 3d christmas let's go with ornament and so i just erased tree went ornament with multiple holiday patchwork palette uh, patterns on solid backgrounds and go ahead and see what comes up here. And usually I get several ornaments that look pretty good. And so just like that, you can see lots of different ornaments and some of them are better than others. And again, we can do this as many times as we like. This one's kind of cool, this one's kind of cool. And because it's on a solid background, again, if I just do background remover, I've got my ornament right there. 
And so that's a pretty awesome one right there. And so we can do this again. So let's say instead of ornament, we're gonna do Christmas stocking, right? And hit generate again. Once you get a prompt that seems to work really well for you, I try to use that same prompt, you know, over and over and just switch the one word because I found, you know, it's kind of like finding the, the key that works. And so when I get the prompt that I like, then it's pretty easy to go with it. So here are some more, you know, there's a nice stocking there. And again, I can do background remover. Now I did play for a while before I got the prompt that I liked. Um, so it took me a while to get the, the 3D because I wanted more of those, those popping 3D images. It took a while for me to get the right patchwork thing. I tried using quilting. I tried using patchwork. I had to specify, you know, different patterns, like multiple holiday patchwork patterns. So I had to be a little specific. I had to specify the solid background so that I could make it so I could get an easy background remover. Um, but once I kind of found the right combination, then it became really easy, you know, to do. And so obviously I can do this over and over and over again with Christmas stuff, but this would also work for just about anything you can think of. So for spring, right, we could do some sort of a spring thing, spring flowers with spring patterns. Um, we could just do general winter. We could do like a winter snowflake with winter patterns. Um, Thanksgiving is coming and it's not too late for Thanksgiving. So you could certainly do this with the Thanksgiving patterns. And this would look really cool with like the, the pumpkins um, with sort of that pumpkin pattern on it. So lots of ways we can do this. In fact, let's just see if I can get that. Let's go with 3D. Let's go with pumpkin. 3D pumpkin with multiple, we'll call it Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving patchwork patterns on solid background. And let's see what happens. Or I could have put fall patterns that might have worked too. Or you could be specific and go with like fall plaids and do different plaids. So sometimes you, you know, you want to be as specific as you can, but some of these look really cool. So if I was to just add a new blank page, I could start doing some really cool pumpkins. And so you can see some of these pumpkins look a little bit more realistic than others but all of those look cool and every one of them, I could do an easy background remover and boom. And you don't even have to have words. I mean, you can, but you can have shirts or whatever. They just have the graphics. Um, and so there would be nothing stopping you from just going ahead and putting this on a shirt as is without any words, or obviously you could use this as part of a full design where you've got words and other elements. So you can use these however you want. Um, you could also put them together in a package probably in, you know, kind of sell a, an AI, you know, image package, you could probably do that too. Um, but you can see they're real easy. Um, one more thing I did want to discuss with you is how you can get sort of those different styles um, with the AI. And so I'm going to scroll down again, going back to Christmas, and I decided to make some Santa heads. And so this is cool. I really wanted to show you guys the different ways that we can do this. So what I've got is different styles of Santa. So I did a realistic one, a graphic one, one that looks more embroidery or almost like a patch, one that's more of like watercolor, a quilted one, and then like more of a 3D clay one. And so depending on what style you're going for, you can get just about anything you want. And again, it has to do with how I do this. So for these, trying to use similar wording here, like for the first one I put, let's say, uh, realistic Santa head on solid background. And so a realistic Santa head on a solid background and I hit generate image. And the cool thing I like about Canvas AI as opposed to some of the other ones is that it's so much faster. So I really do get the results in a matter of a few seconds. I'm not having to wait here for several minutes. I mean, it, it literally you know, maybe 10 seconds at most, and boom, I've got a bunch of different Santa heads. That one looks kind of creepy. But something like this one, that's a realistic looking one right there. Background remover. And boom, I've got a relatively realistic 3D looking Santa head. And so pretty straightforward. Other one I did was like sort of graphic style. Then I can put graphic style Santa head on solid background, hit again and see what it comes up with for graphics. And so that's kind of how I play with my wording. 
And so just lots of different styles that you might not think about that are really popular. So these are just like the little 2D graphics, but embroidery style can look really cool. The quilted style obviously can be really cool. Watercolor's always been pretty popular. Um, any of the, you know, you can do 3D, you can do 2D, you can pretty much do it however you want. This one down here, I just put quilted Santas. And so these were quilted Santas. And so instead of putting solid backgrounds, I just put, you know, quilted, quilted style Santa. I didn't even put head, just Santa. Quilted style Santa, generate an image. And so that was pretty simple prompt right there. And so it came up with some different ones here. Now, again, if you don't specify solid backgrounds, you won't always get a solid background. And so some of these, it would be really hard to do a background remover on because it wouldn't show it as necessarily having any kind of a solid background. Um, but of course you can always specify what you want. I mean, this looks pretty cool. You could almost print this on a pillow. So because it's square, I could turn this one into just a pillow, or I could use any one of these individually as sort of the front of a pillow, and that would look pretty cool too. So um, with pillows, you don't necessarily need a graphic with, um, you know, without a background. So depending on what you're using these for, all sorts of really cool options for print on demand. So really the sky is the limit. Be as creative as you guys want. Um, if you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. If you're new to print on demand, I do have a beginner's guide that I sell on my Etsy shop for like 20 bucks. It's way more affordable than those thousand dollar courses that you'll see other people, um, peddling. So I really wanted anybody who wants to start print on demand to actually be able to afford to start print on demand and to learn everything that they need to know. Um, and because you guys were so patient and you did wait until the end of the video, I do have another five bonus niches for you. And so without any more waiting, these are your five bonus niches. And so I decided to go with some more evergreen style hobby niches that are good year round. And so for this week, I've decided to go with bird watching, which is more popular than you might think. And so number one, this is my bird watching shirt. And of course I have seen that done for just about anything you can do. This is my blank shirt and pretty much the sky's the limit, right? <laughs> number two, Early bird gets the binoculars, right? That's just a funny one. Number three, I like big birds and I cannot lie. <laughs> number four, birds of a feather nerd together. And number five, and of course this one could be scaled out too, a bad day bird watching is better than a good day working. And that could be a bad day. Any hobby is better than a good day working. So again, nice scalable niches. You can create a lot of designs using these. So again, be as creative as you like. Um, thank you for waiting till the end of the video. I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope your sales are going well. I hope you're continuing to learn new skills, grow your portfolio. And of course, I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.